Once you have added a few tracks and begun recording, you will want to control the balance between your different tracks. Getting a good balance between your tracks is crucial in being able to deliver a great end product. Therefore, it is important to take a moment to make sure that we review where the most important controls are located for mixing. The mix window is best designed for making these balance changes, although you can also make these changes in the edit window. The advantage of the mix window is that you have larger controls and you are able to see the levels of each track's meter side by side. You can access these main mixing controls in the edit window by showing your in-out view. You can access output windows for tracks that provide the main controls by clicking on the output window button in the channel strip. The volume fader controls the volume of the track. You can access a miniature fader in the edit window by clicking on the volume indicator and then dragging up and down. The mute button stops the audio playback from the track. The solo button will mute all other tracks that are not also soloed. The pan knob gives you the ability to position the audio in each channel of a track to the left or right speakers. You can access these controls as left-right sliders in the edit window by clicking on the pan indicators. When viewing meters in the edit and mix window, it is important to realize that you can view your meters as post-fader or pre-fader. You can change this setting by going to Options, Pre-Fader Metering. When it is unchecked, you are viewing the meter's post-fader. This means that you will see the level in the meter change when you make volume changes or mute the track. When you have Pre-Fader checked in the Options menu, it means that you are viewing the level of the track either directly from the last plugin or from the audio clip or input if there are no plugins. You can condense the tracks in your mix window to a narrow mix view by choosing View Narrow Mix. You can also toggle this by pressing Option Command M on a Mac or on Windows you press Control Alt M. The mix window also makes it so that you can also easily see your in-out routing side by side and easily change these settings. The Mix Window View Selector allows you to show and hide many other parameters you may want to view in the Mix Window. For example, comments, instrument routing, inserts, sends, and so forth.